You know, that, that really it was um, the first script I sold was the first horror script I wrote. And I'd written about 20 scripts prior to that. This is when I was like, I was uh, 22, 23 years old, and I was living in New York. And I wrote a horror western called Dead Birds, which I was planning to shoot myself um, for about $60,000, uh, 60 millimeter back in my hometown. And ended up selling for, uh, you know, not that much, but a bit, enough for me to live on for a bit. And got made for 1.5 million with like real stars. And I was kind of like, oh. Uh, that that was interesting. People actually read that script, and it got made into a movie. And I was on set for that whole experience, and was very involved. And uh, it just kind of pushed me in that direction a little bit. Um, I love horror. Uh, the guest is is not a horror film, and, and some of the stuff we do is, is not. And, but I think I always kind of want to come back to that genre on occasion, just because I enjoy it as a viewer so much. And, you know, but I also also hope that I can bring something new and original to it. I wouldn't want to start repeating myself or doing things, you know, just for the money or anything like that. Um, one of the good things I think about you know, my career working with Adam Wingard, uh, you know, my creative partner and the director that I work with on pretty much everything, um, is that we didn't have success until we've been really working for about 10 years, you know, and that gives you a bit of perspective where you start to realize that, you know, the whole point to being successful is that you just make more movies, and you know, there's no reason to ever do anything for money or for anything other than, you know, making the right project at the right time.